We're just finishing uh, harvesting the nectarine variety called Arctic Star in the orchard. This is a small sampling of the fruit. And I look at the fruit, I'm looking for scarring, uh, a close-up of the fruit because of the western flower thrips. The trees are only entering their fourth year, so it really hasn't a lot of scarring. It's okay for the farmer's market, but it's not going to be suitable. There's too much damage for a supermarket. Uh, and who wants to sell it to that anyway? You don't get a good price for it when it's sold to the supermarket. But these are the nectarine trees that they came off of. They're now clean. That's the row of Arctic Star nectarines that have been harvested from it. Just to show you something, here on the ground, there is some fruit that fell earlier that was not harvested. That has to be picked up and uh, has to be uh, brought up because uh, of a dried fruit beetle. We'll get into that fruit and then get into fresh, uh, fresh fruit. If you're harvesting early and they're still hard and not mature, you don't have to worry about it. But if you're letting it tree ripen, and I don't mean soft on the tree, it's still firm, but the sugar content is high when it's tree ripen, then there is a good chance uh, that uh, they will, they will uh, develop uh, dried fruit beetle problems. I'm trying to find a fruit here on it that you know, I think this one has. No, it doesn't. But uh, I was going to show you some bird pecked fruit. Uh, that one's bruised. This one is bruised. It's on the floor. Let me see if I can find a bird pecked one. This one is rotten, so it's not included in there. You know the saying, one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. But anyway, you start looking for bird pecked fruit. That's your signal that it's ready and it should be harvested at that time. Uh, here's a, one fruit that was missed in the harvest and it looks okay. It's just small, but the taste is there. I'm estimating from the taste on these, it, we're hitting about probably close to 20 bricks on these already. Arctic Star Nectarine is one of my favorite nectarines for the Mojave Desert because of the high sugar content that it develops. It doesn't uh, develop a lot of acidity because it's a white nectarine coming originally from the white peaches. So those are considered sub-acid peaches. So they don't develop a lot of acidity. Uh, they develop a real high sugar content from the carbohydrate storage that's in the fruit. Uh, as we look through these trees, also, keep in mind that when I prune these trees this, this winter, half of all of this canopy has to be removed. So when I'm pruning this, I'll control the height first. I'll pu pull the height down to about eight feet, the maximum height I want on these trees because the distance between trees is about 10 feet, about three and a half meters. So I don't want their height to go much uh, above that height. I want them to spread out wide and when they're pruned I'll go ahead and if they're touching in here I'll go ahead and open the a distance between them so they're not touching like on this row this didn't uh, have uh, nectarines on it this year for a number but I'll prune that back so you can get through without knocking fruit off of the tree there is a, a small amount of fruit but it's still green on the nectarine yet yeah, hasn't ripened it's a different variety of nectarine that's in here. While we're harvesting it, I'm thinking about the canopy. I'm thinking about uh, what I'm going to have to do. All of this stuff going down, all of this growth will be pruned out this winter. I'll go ahead and lower the top to about eight feet in here. And anything going straight up, I don't like. It'll have, I have a tendency to bring it out. I'll open the center up, so I'll go inside here and some of the stuff that's growing to the inside will come out. It's a little bit old right now. I'm pulling some of it out. You can pull some of it out like that in it. And you can open up the center. But see that stuff going here straight up? That's got to come out at some point. That'll be this winter time. I don't want to open the tree too much uh, now because of the intense sunlight in the Mojave Desert. So... Uh, that's uh, about it on nectarine harvest. You harvest them, 
what I do is I go and feel the fruit, I'll taste the fruit, and when that fruit starts to climb or I see bird pecking in the fruit, we'll start to harvest. And the harvesting will run from uh, anything, you might end up cleaning off the entire tree, or you might come back twice to remove fruit, depending upon the weather, the temperatures, and whatnot in it. So that's about it on Arctic Star Nectarine. Uh, it's a cling nectarine. The flesh clings to it, so it, but it's a very high quality fruit.